automakers are putting it in their cars. There is a short period here where the skin thing is acceptable. So like yeah. maybe cars in 50 years, the skin cars will still be valuable. <laughs> skin cars. It's, it's the one car yeah. you don't have to look at the road. <laughs> Do you think that robo taxis could ever be a thing at some yeah, point? Yeah, but you know, who, when? I it mean, seems so far off. Like I'm using the Tesla full self-driving and it's still so buggy. Yeah. And it's just, I'm on edge. Plus it, you live in the, Vegas. Like ultimately yeah. what happens in Minneapolis, right? When it snows, I, this is what I think about. Like I was self-driving. They got 90% of the way there in a couple of years. Yeah. And that last 10%, is hard, right? You can anybody can make a self driving car drive down a road, stop at a stoplight, turn on a simple, nice day, wide road, well paved. But like that's that's not what I want the car to drive, right? You want the car to drive when it's foggy and icy and you're terrified and you don't you don't trust yourself. Mm -hmm. You want the car to be better than you. Truthfully, right now, all the cars are worse than you, right? That that may not be statistically true, but in those edge case scenarios, you'd rather be driving, right? If it's icy and foggy, you'd rather have the wheel than than Tesla mm -hmm. full self drive. And that's the problem.